Hello everyone and welcome back in this video we are going to add our player character to our game and we will spawn a character for each player that is already in our game and we will give them the ability to control their own character only so let's get started let's start by showing what we have so let's go first to the our gameplay scene and what we have here is basically a little bit of an environment and it's simple and if we go to the player we have a player that we made previously and if we run the game the character will be controlled normally like any other thing in the game and it's very simple so let's get started so let's start by going to our setup scene so let's remove this character first and let's go to the setup scene let's start by creating a player spawner object and let's add a script called player spawner and the way we are going to do this is basically we will be spawning all of our players when a certain event happens and that event will be when the scene that we want to load our players to load the event will be called so let's get started let's start by using unity.netcode netcode here we go and the second thing is let's change this and add instead of mono behavior let's add a network behavior and this will give us more flexibility to deal with network stuff so here let's first call the method which is public override void and here let's call the on network spawn let's remove this and in this method what we want to do is subscribe to the event that will be called when our scene loads let's start by network manager dot singleton dot scene manager dot on and here we have a variety of events and the one we want is on load event complete and let's call it scene let's call it scene loaded doesn't matter the name and this will be called when the scene loads so let's generate this method and this if we see here there is a scene name which is the name of our scene that you wanna spawn our players to so here what we will say is if if we are the host and the scene name is equal equal to gameplay you want to spawn our players so what we will do here is have a reference to our player so serialized field and private game object and let's call it a player and here how do we do that we say game object player is equal to instantiate player yeah but what we want what we want to do this for all of our players so here we can say for each you long id n clients completed and here we instantiate the player and after we get a component called network object so let's say player dot get component network object dot spawn as player object and here we need to pass two arguments the first is the id and the second is we need to pass a boolean and this boolean will be for destroying our player on loading the scene and we want the player to be destroyed when we load a new scene so we set this to true and this id will be very useful for controlling which player is my player there is one more thing i want to do which is start and it should be below here and here do not destroy unload for the this dot game object we want it persisting and it's simple as that so let's give it a try before we continue we go to our player character the normal one and we should add a component called network 
object network object and this one as well as something that is very important to do which is every every game object that it has a network object right here you should go to the network manager and throw this prefab into here every time you have a game object with a network object component you should add it right here it's technically most of the time but let's keep that in mind we forgot to assign our player prefab right here so let's drop that right here and let's give it a try let's enter from here and let's enter from the other pc and let's enter our game and here we go we can notice that we have two characters each for our player and if we come to the network object here if we switch between the players you can notice that we have two different properties like they're changing and let's go over them and is spawned means is this character spawned across the network is this character shown for all the players and in this situation they are both shown for both the players and the second is is local player which means is this character for me is this the player for my computer and this should be yes and this should be no and we have is owner and we have is owned by server is player object and is scene object and different stuff and that's it let's start by making each player control only his character so the way we are going to do that is if we go to our player here we have the script and inside of the script what we want to do is we will we should check from this network object if we are the owner of this character we should disable this player script as well as the character control so we can control this character so let's get started let's enter the script and here we should first convert it from mono behavior to network behavior since it is going to be across the network and here let's call the on network spawn so public avoid so override void on network spawn and here we can check if we are the owner we keep this component enabled if we're not we disable it so if is owner so let's first of all get the character controller component which is this player and we say player dot set enabled is equal to false as well as this component itself so this dot enabled is equal to false and this should be if we are not the owner and that's it now the other thing we want is when the player spawns we want to give him an initial position and the way we do that is right here we say if we're not owner we do this else which means we are the owner we should make the character to report to a certain position so let's do that by getting this component which is the character controller so we say player dot enabled is equal to false and this dot transform dot position is equal to a new vector 3 and we give it a position of 0 0 and let's say 2 and this player dot enabled is equal to true we enable it back again to teleport our player so this should work and let's switch this method from start to awake because if we keep it at start on network spawn will be called before start and those will be null and it will cause an error so let's give it a try and here if you can notice we have two characters this one which we disabled the character control play script and if we go to the other one which is our character if we can check here it is is owner which means we are owner of it and we check the position it is where we added it at zero zero two it's working but if we can notice that the other character didn't synchronize the position because we didn't give it the synchronization component also another thing is if we look away we can see that we can control our, our player but the camera isn't on the on the right player so let's also fix that 
let's go first to if we're not the owner here else we need to get the the cinema machine and set the priority very high so my camera dot priority is equal to 100 and this will fix that we're looking at our play the way we synchronize our character is first let's go to the package manager let's add from a get i'll put the link in the description and here we go so let's start syncing our player we go to our player prefab and here we add the component called client network transform and this will uh, synchronize our character and here we can select what do you wanna synchronize if we remove the scale since we're not gonna scale our character and also we can remove the rotation on the z and x axis since we're only rotating on the y axis and this should be it this will synchronize transform of our player so let's also add a network animator a client network animator which will synchronize our character animation and let's drop this this animator into here and this should be it so let's start the host and let's enter our game and here we go we have nothing we can control our character and let's control the other pc and you can notice that it is working perfectly let's move right here we're watching our character if we come here you can see that this is our character and we're owning it great